Good morning, I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Today is Sunday morning. Uh, today is February the 6th. If any of my messages uh, resonates with you in a way in which you feel inspired to donate, my Cash App and PayPal is in the description link uh, below. Uh, donating is not an option, and you would like to still bless the channeler uh, and keep me encouraged, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, to keep me encouraged to do what I absolutely love and enjoy doing. Okay, so with that, I'm going to uh, do a collective message uh, to whomever it may resonate with this morning. All right. Please funnel through me clearly and directly for the intended collective, the energy, and information needed. Protect it from outside influences and low vibrational entities that seek to confuse and distort the divine messages. Please allow the intended listener to extract what is needed to put them on their highest path for their highest good. Use my tongue to channel the right words to deliver as plain and simple so as to be understood with clarity and insight. To light their guided pathways in this lifetime and maybe the next. Now, while I'm shuffling this, I've already seen the King of Pentacles come out three times. And here we go. We got the star and the tower. It could be a good tower, but either way, I guess we will see. Hmm. Let me find out we got a King of Pentacles, Pentacles out there about to, somebody about to get rich. Somebody about to have a good tower. Somebody's about to have a good tower. Okay. Star card. Oh, okay. That's why that went out. Because it was in the upright in the thing. That star card is supposed to be up. Why didn't light went out like that? Oh, there's the devil. Oh, maybe it was supposed to be reversed. I don't know. Oh, the devil didn't come up. And there's the tower again. There's that tower card. And the tower is reversed. Okay. Well, I guess we shall soon see if that star card is reversed. Hmm. Let's see. Just one moment. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So just getting started, this morning uh, I have the star card, I have the king of wands reversed, uh, I have the lovers here, uh, Gemini energy, um, and then we have the seven of wands, the moon card reversed, the devil reversed, and a tower reversed. Hmm, okay. Clarify the star please. Hierophant, star, okay, could be Aquarius energy. Hierophant, uh, Taurus energy also. Clarify the star, please. Hangman. Oh, okay, somebody might be stuck. Maybe an Aquarius is stuck. Or in the air sign. Or maybe a rising star. Or someone with star quality. Could be kind of uh, in a suspension place over something. Okay. Oh, maybe they didn't win a court case with that five of swords reversed. Maybe they're stuck because they can't win about something with regard to a legal situation, possibly. Okay, spread these cards out some. Okay, clarify the king of wands reversed. King of wands is reversed, and then I have a page of wands. Uh, looks like uh, maybe a fire sign might be starting all over again. Hmm. Okay. Clarify that King of Wands reversed. King of Wands reversed. Please clarify the King of Wands reversed. Clarify that King of Wands reversed. Could be uh, even an air sign. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Oh, okay, that might be feeling very defensive right now, possibly, because they're having to start something all over again. 
clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers. Please clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers. Okay. For the lovers, I have the high priestess reverse, uh, which uh, can uh, represent someone that's not using their intuition when it comes to uh, love or connection. Or it could represent uh, maybe uh, even a Gemini that could be someone that uses divination uh, practices that could be intuitive, maybe even psychic, but they could be low vibrational. What else is going on here? Or they're not using their intuition possibly, uh, or they didn't use their intuition about a decision that could have led to some something going on with the marriage, maybe. We got the four of wands. And we got the, hmm, letting something go. Someone could be possibly releasing something. Hmm. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. It looks like this could possibly be a Gemini uh, that might have lacked some kind of, um, they could have lacked some type of structure and discipline and maybe something they were doing and they're not using their intuition. Hmm. But I will further clarify what this is. Hmm. Interesting. The lovers. Hmm. Let's see. Does the lovers represent a Gemini in this reading? Okay. Swords. Eight of swords. Interesting. That's bound. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have a yeah, I have an eight of swords that actually <laughs> jumped out. You know, um, spades uh, in the card deck represents the swords, and eight represents someone that's bound up. Okay. So this uh, actually possibly could be an air sign, um, Libra, uh, Gemini, or an Aquarius, because we do have the Aquarius card up here uh, that could be bound up about a situation right now, possibly. But let's go ahead and continue in the reading. Try not to pay too much attention to the signs. Uh, we all have all signs in our chart. Uh, if the message resonates, this could be uh, you doing this to someone or someone else doing this to you. Okay. But so far, it's feeling kind of like um, this might be an air sign with the King of Swords here too. Now let's go further. Uh, clarify that uh, Seven of Wands, please. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Temperance reverse, someone, oh boy, somebody has not been having enough structure and discipline. Someone hasn't had enough structure and discipline in some area of their life uh, that is causing, you know, them to be maybe in some type of conflict or defensive about something that's going on uh, because it's causing some type of imbalance. It's uh, too much of something or not enough of something with the temperance card, you see. The, the, in the reverse, you know, it, something's really, really imbalanced. Maybe something's imbalanced in a marriage, perhaps, with this four of wands here, okay? Clarify um, the moon card reverse. Why the moon card reverse here? Clarify the moon card reverse. Is it a secret coming out? Clarify the moon card reverse. could be a secret coming out um, about a wounded person. It could be uh, possibly someone that did something, uh, someone that was imbalanced in a wounded space that might have done something to someone else. Uh, maybe they might have abused uh, communication to hurt or harm someone because we have the Knight of Swords here, which is reversed. Uh, this uh, horse with the Knight, uh, it represents fast quick action. Uh, it can represent very fast, because it's a knight, knights are messengers, okay? So it can represent fast communication too. But in the reverse, it represents someone also that is a liar. Someone that uh, might spread messages back and forth that are deceitful, uh, that are uh, that are lies, you know, just a, a smear campaign energy, you know, someone that just keeps lying their ass off. Um, 
So it could be a wounded person that is doing this to someone else, or they could have wounded someone else uh, by spreading some kind of a smear campaign, spreading a lot of lies and gossip about them. Okay, and maybe it's about to be illuminated with the moon card reversed here. So some secret is about to come out that could be, once again, causing them a legal issue. If somebody, okay, all right, Spirit is telling me, if someone did something with social media or something with the internet possibly, okay, I'm, I'm feeling like some type of communication um, having to do with a person's reputation uh, on some form of social media or something having to do with the computer someone uh, was manipulating you know communication uh, and information okay errors air rules communication to lie perhaps lie on somebody or try to discredit someone because they lack structure and discipline in their life because they don't use their intuition they perhaps are guided by their lower self which can rule an imbalance which can cause a je jealousy envy hate all those lower uh, all those lower uh energies all those lower uh things that uh when you're in the reverse you know when when your uh energy centers are off these types of thought patterns and behaviors that bring low vibrational energy in is what was causing and that person not having structure and discipline you know over how they think how they process things allowing themselves to be jealous and envious and act out you know in a low vibrational way uh has caused them uh a huge imbalance which having low vibrational thoughts and actions will cause you to physically take low vibrational thoughts and actions towards someone. It starts in the mind. You know, when you're not of the right vibration, when you're not thinking correctly, you know, and you're imbalanced, and instead of admiring someone that you might be inspired by, instead you feel feelings of jealousy and envy and hate, then what happens is it manifests into you taking physical actions uh, towards someone either to hurt them to harm them to discredit them or to do something to get the energy that you can't produce yourself you probably can produce yourself but you're not willing to put the work in and turn that negative energy inward to heal yourself so that you can produce something creative for yourself instead you're feeding off of a low vibrational energy by attacking someone else that has the energy and possesses the quality and creativity that you feel as though you lack okay now clarify the devil reverse clarify the devil reverse okay oh, okay perhaps this person could have been working with other people <laughs> you know when when low vibrational people hate when low vibrational people hate on other people, you know, they're usually not alone because it's such a low current. It's such a weak vibration. You know, they always need an entourage. They always need other people of that really weak, very weak, uh, low vibrational energy uh, to come together and help them. But with the devil reversed here, uh, if they were working with other people, perhaps these people turn their back on them now. Uh, why the devil was reversed and maybe uh, they realized this person was operating out of a low vibration uh, and they if it was some type of legal trouble involved they don't want to uh, they don't want to be affected by it at this point you know an entity once you're at a low vibration you know low vibrational entities can possess you that are of the same vibration as you so the way I used to explain it it's like if your mind gets possessed by some type of, I used to call them brain or mind parasites, when you have thoughts that you're unable to get control of or release, um, sometimes that can mean you have an entity attachment and you have to do some spiritual work to release it, okay? 
it's some type of thought pattern uh, of a low vibration you may have, might have been in. And by staying in that low vibration long enough, it allowed an, an outside low vibrational entity of the same vibration as that thought you were having to come and connect with you. And how that happens is it works like this. Mode can only grow where there is no sunlight, okay? It's damp and it's moist. And then you can have mold and it will fester and it will grow, right? Like these basements in Georgia. <laughs> now, in a place like Arizona, you know, somewhere or, or just in a spot where it's very dry, the sun constantly shines, it's dry, the sun, it's very well lit, uh, it's never exposed to darkness, mold can never grow in that place. It can never grow. It's, imp it's scientifically impossible for mold to be able to grow, for spores to be able to be formed and reproduce. Because it's dry there, the sun is always there, that spot is always in the light. Okay? So if you're of a high vibration, if you're always thinking and not saying you're perfect and you never have a low vibrational thought, everyone has low vibrational thoughts from time to time, okay? It's the balance of it in your life. So when you're of a high vibration, okay, and most of your thoughts are high vibrational, so you're vibrating at a high vibration, if a low vibrating entity comes around to try to attach to you, you, don't, you do not have the conditions for it to one, attach to you, and then two, for it to reproduce or to take over or to make that or, or to connect and hold on. That entity attachment cannot one, even make the connection to you because you're vibrating at a different level. Okay, so it cannot enter you. The conditions aren't right, just like with mode. But if you're of a low vibration, and this is how possessions happen. I have seen live possessions. I have seen whole live possessions in people in my family and people, you know, that were friends that were even close to me. I've actually seen an entity take over their body because they were in a low vibrational state and thought pattern for too long and long enough for an entity that normally that would have stopped, looked and just kept on moving and passed by, but the entity saw that the conditions for it to survive were there. So they attached to that person and took over that person's mind. And for a while that entity was talking through that person, literally, and that person lost control of themselves. And until that person could uh, raise their vibration enough to where the entity can't live there anymore because the conditions are no longer right. They were under, uh, possessed, they were possessed. So it's very important, especially uh, people that have mental illness. A lot of times these people are possessed because they, it started out being depressed. It could have started with depression. You know, with depression, they are very uh, susceptible to possessions. Because when you stay in a low vibrational uh, state for too long, you're, you're open to uh, an entity attaching to you of a low vibrational state. That's how you get uh, people that get possessed with the spirit of suicide, you know? And that's how you get possessed with the spirit of envy and jealousy by staying in that space, that low vibrational space for too long. An entity will take over you and before you know it, you're taking some kind of an action. You're taking some kind of a, because you lack the structure and discipline to get your mind right. You take some kind of low vibrational illegal actions with the Hierophant card here against somebody that did nothing to you but simply inspire you with the Star card. Somebody that inspired you because you stayed in an envy state for too long in that mind state and you did not rebuke it, bind it, and cast it out. That entity took over and influenced you to take action. Now you took a low vibrational action that got you in legal trouble, which is going to put you into a further low vibrational state and create a permanent home for that entity to live inside of you and hopefully try to drag, you, drag your whole life to hell. 
But it doesn't have to happen like that. Because I promise you, where there are two or more gathered in my name, there will I be also. Okay? You can get together and pray. If you're stuck in a low vibrational state because of some uh, the lack of structure and discipline that you might have had, you know, toward a certain mindset, and it caused you, you know, uh, to, to be possessed and consumed with a spirit that had you take an action toward an innocent person to try to harm them. And now it landed you in some type of legal trouble. And being in the legal trouble is going to make you slide and cascade into a further depression now. The only way to bring yourself out, you by yourself, or you get together with someone else of a high vibration that can help you and say a prayer. And you can bind and rebuke and cast out any low vibrational entity that has taken residence in your home. And you can start to raise your vibration and your frequency by changing your thought patterns. It's just as simple as changing your mind. Start thinking different. Deal with the consequences from your action, but also start changing how you think. Come up with a counter plan. When I feel envious of somebody that I am inspired by, instead of uh, uh, staying fixated on that person, let me get me a side project that makes me happy I can work on. Let me find some creative endeavor or something in my life that I'm inspired by that makes me happy. And as soon as those thoughts start to come in, I will rebuke them and I will focus and turn my attention and turn my energy into working on myself. Into working on a project that I love. Or doing some healing work on myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that whole situation around and ask myself, what is, what's, what's going on with me? Why do I feel this way? What do I feel like this person has that I don't? And how can I get it? I'm creative too. Let me find out, let me find uh, something that I like and I enjoy. Because you're going to be good at whatever you enjoy doing. You're going to be good at it because it's something you love doing. But you can't find what that is if you're busy watching somebody else with envy and jealousy mixed in with inspiration. Get that person out your energy. If that person triggers you, if you have somebody that inspires you, but, you're, but it, they also trigger you, then what you do is turn your attention away from them. Don't look at their pictures. Stay away from their social media. Don't communicate with that person until you can heal yourself. Stay out of their energy, and that'll uh, help you with your temptation until you can heal yourself and raise your vibration. Okay. Clarify. Clarify that three of cups, please. Clarify the three of cups. Oh, king of, I got the king of pentacles reversed here. The King of Pentacles is reversed. Hmm. <sighs> okay, so yeah, they uh, whoever this is, they could have done something having to do with communication to possibly put somebody that could be a star, possibly, or have that star quality energy, an influencer, someone that carries a level and a vibration that gets a, the attention of everyone in the room. Everywhere they walk, they carry a light. And people are inspired by them. People copy off of them. People want to mimic them. And maybe that person was doing well financially or still is doing well financially. But maybe someone became jealous and wanted to put them in a king of pentacle reverse. Maybe they wanted to try to work with other people to bring them in. You know, so because, you know, an entity can possess several people at one time. It can catch on like wildfire. If you find several people of that low, weak vibration, you know, that entity, the more people you reel in for that entity, the stronger it gets. You know, if you're already in a low vibration and you don't divert your attention and energy somewhere else, instead you find another person at the same vibration as you, guess what? Now that entity became stronger because it's possessing both of you. And then you start recruiting more people, you know, and you're helping this, this entity to grow until it possesses all of you to take stupid ass actions and the entity is eating off of your energy, okay? The entity can only survive and eat off of low vibrational energy. So the more people you bring into the fold, the stronger this entity is getting. And the more people this entity can get into legal trouble or get into some type of bind or in trouble that would put all the people involved in a lower vibrational state, 
that's even more food secured for that entity for a longer period of time. The more people I can keep in a low vibrational state, the longer I can feed off of all of them and eat and grow and become strong. Why do you think that same entity uh, took over the music industry here all over the world and in America, but mostly in America? Because when we were making high vibrational music that influenced people to do positive things in their community, influenced people to have higher vibrational thoughts, influenced people to want to love, which is the highest form of energy in the universe, powering the universe, that entity cannot survive in this atmosphere with such a high vibration. So they had to take over people that had control of the most resources and money and control over media to make sure that all of that type of music was stopped, came to a complete hold, halt, and low vibrational messages, low vibrational tones, low vibrational music was being pumped out to the masses and to the children who are mostly influenced by the music and the words and the spells that they're singing about. Singing about low vibrational things that are very uh, low vibrational and shallow in nature. You know, just about only materialistic things. Nothing having to do with love. Low vibrational things of wanting to harm and hurt other people. How you can outsmart other people to, to, to cause negative low vibrational results in people. And that takes away the spirit of love. If y'all notice, and I don't mean to go on a rant. But the spirit of love is gone from the atmosphere that we live in today. The spirit of love is not, it does not exist anymore. In the TV shows, in the sitcoms that you see nowadays, you know, these low vibe, I mean, it, it was an agenda. It was to replace TV shows. When we were at a, a, a peak and a point where we were even getting more television shows that were showing wholesome families, that was showing uh, people of a high vibration doing more in the community, it was attacked and replaced with more low vibrational shows that only focus on the physical low vibrational aspects of life. Getting money, getting ass implants, looking good, looking a certain type of way. No value, I, we, we don't wanna give any value to a woman unless she looks like this. That's what makes her value. You know, they, they sat up there and got rid of the India Iris of the world and replaced it with musicians and artists, which I honestly wouldn't call musicians and artists, but replaced them with people that were so superficial that taught you to hate yourself, that taught you to, to, to dislike you know, what you look like and to go after the wrong types of things in people, the wrong types of quality, everything low vibrational. And it is to keep that entity feeding and eating so these other people you know it looks like might have been helping to put a king of pentacles which could be a man or a woman it could be a man or a woman that possibly um may still be doing well for themselves could just be living comfortably they could maybe even own their own business be running their own business have a good career they could just have a good job the King of Pentacles could just be someone that's stable, that's really good at their job. You know, they're a hardworking person, they're an honest person, they pay the bills on time, you know, go to work every day, you know, they try to be uh, a positive influence in the community, okay? So we got the Devil Reversed, the Three of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So it could have been a whole group of people that joined in uh, with whoever this person is to try to help. What did they do? Oh, they're trying to avoid a tower. All right, so that's why we have the tower card reversed here. This group of people that whomever this possibly an air sign might have been working with to bring down uh, whoever the king of pentacles, whoever this person is, uh, perhaps they are trying to avoid a disaster, okay? They're trying to avoid a disaster. They're trying to avoid legal troubles, you know, so, clarify the tall reverse. Clarify the tall reverse. Yeah, they, they're trying to avoid whoever this Queen of Swords is. Whoever this uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is, possibly. I, I believe this is an air sign. They're trying to avoid them. They're trying to avoid a disaster with them. What, what did this group do? What did they do? 
What did they do with this uh, Queen of Swords? They took a foolish risk. They took some type of a foolish risk. Yeah, they took a foolish risk to try to bind to try to bind up a King of Pentacles. Who, who, who is this King of Pentacles that they tried to bind? A Libra. Ooh. A Libra. So, in yesterday's reading, I had a fire sign that had done some low vibrational things that was causing them legal issues with possibly a Libra. You know, the Justice uh, card represents the Libra. But they were working with a group. So this could be an additional person in that group now that is worried about legal troubles. Or this could have been the leader of that group. Another air sign. This could be another air sign. Because if it's a group, this could be, uh, these readings that I'm doing, this energy I'm picking up on, uh, it, one by one, day by day, could be uh, picking up on the energy of each person that was within that group that was attacking, spiritually attacking uh, this Libra or doing the smear campaign against the Libra. Wow. So this, we have here some type of an air sign now that uh, might have been the ringleader. Hmm. But yesterday it seemed like it was the Leo that was actually the leader of this. Interesting. So let me see here. The lovers. Okay. So that could have actually been a Gemini that didn't use their intuition. You know, instead of healing themselves, they took action in getting, you know, pulling other people into trying to cause chaos and confusion and ruin some Libra's life. So we have, so far we have a, a Leo and now we have a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius that was going after a Libra. I believe it might be a Gemini though. So we have a Leo and a Gemini uh, that have been attacking a Libra, but there are more in this group. Mmm. 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 Hold on. But there are more in this group. Avoiding legal issues. Alright. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes when I'm doing a reading, <laughs> something that I say strikes me and I'm like, okay, I'm going to name the reading that. And then when I get to the end of the reading, I get amnesia and I can't remember what the hell I said I was going to name it. So I just wrote it down real fast. Ha! <laughs> All right. So, uh, so yeah, we have uh, possibly, if it, this is a continuation from the same energy, okay? Uh, and it, it was a whole group attacking a Libra. And we have a Gemini now today uh, that possibly not using their intuition to recognize that they had some type of imbalance here with the temperance reversed okay they they, they didn't use their intuition to check themselves that's what i'm looking for they didn't have the structure and the discipline they needed to check their emotions to check themselves so they joined in with the group possibly with the leo and others to con not using their intuition to check their jealousy to check themselves and now they possibly could be losing something. Maybe they could be losing a home. They could be losing a home or if they were in some type of relationship with that four of wands there. Or if this represents the friendship with all of the people that was in this, maybe they're, uh, they're losing these people. Maybe th because these people in past readings were coming out that they were all fighting now. They're all fighting. And yeah, with the temperance, they didn't use their intuition. Now they're fighting against others. So it looks like what might be going on here is a whole bunch of blame shifting. Usually uh, when a whole bunch of people that lack, lack foresight and intuition uh, are possessed by an entity and they act before they think, you know, on impulse and do a whole bunch of stupid shit that lands them in legal trouble, 
then when what happened really sets in and, and they start getting served court papers then suddenly all, uh, all of a sudden everybody wants to blame shift no I didn't no you're the one that had her social security number okay no no because nobody told you to drive by her house you know you were stalking her both of y'all was you know y'all can I never I never went you know they all start blaming each other it was your idea in the first place the only reason uh, that we joined in with you was because you said that she or he did this or that to you that she took your man she did this she did that you said she was attacking you and we're your friends we were trying to help everybody's blame shifting now now, now everybody everybody's trying to clean it up now Everybody's trying to avoid this tower. Everybody's trying to avoid this uh, uh, tower with the Hierophant and the Tower card. Hmm. Clarify that four of, uh, yeah, and it could be the whole friendship group. It could be this whole group, whether they were friends or, or, or whether this was even a, a gang stalking campaign. That it could end up in court. Because gang stalking is a real thing. There are people that actually are targeted when Martin Luther King was marching, he was targeted by other black people that cared more about money than they cared about what is for the greater good of the people. That's why sometimes our people have so much trouble. Sometimes when people care more about their own selfish needs than they care about doing well for the group, that's why things fail. You look at some communities of some people sometime, and these people are not flashy. They don't wear a lot of name brand clothes. You, you know, they don't try to show off in ways uh, that are superficial and low vibrational. Look, everybody in my family is walking around in $200 sneakers. Sneakers, are you fucking kidding me? Sneakers, you're not a professional athlete, but you have some groups, like I said, they get recognition because they do what is in the best interest of their community. What is that movie with Russell Crowe, A Beautiful Mind? In the movie, A Beautiful Mind, uh, Russell Crowe played, uh, he was a, a, a mathematician, but he had schizophrenia, but he was a genius. And he and his friends were going to a bar one day and there was the pretty girl, you know, she was the prettiest, physically prettiest girl in the bar. And she had a friend group with her of, I guess, who would not be considered as pretty as she was. I guess they must have been average looking. Now, you know how I feel about that. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And that is the truth. But all of his friends were about to go mob the, the prettiest one in the group at the same time. And... Russell Crowe in the movie, it was so funny, uh, he brought them together and said, hey, hey, let's look at this mathematically. When we do what's best for everyone in the group, everyone can benefit. But if we all go after our own selfish needs, we may all strike out. So he said, instead of everyone going after the prettiest one in the group, what, we're go what will happen is, or the other girl, if she rejects all of us because she's not going to choose all of us, she might not choose any of us. But then when you try to talk to the other woman around her, the other women around her are going to feel like they were second choice. And then they're going to just reject all of us and no one wins. So the plan is when we go into this bar, everyone ignore the prettiest one and just go after all the other women that are around. And then everyone can win that way because the other women won't be offended. And, you know, there's more of the likelihood that everyone will be able to hook up with somebody, you know, uh, and, and will spread out. And when you think of that theory within a community, you know, you, you see like in the Hasidic Jewish communities like in New York, I remember in Brooklyn back in the day, you know, the ones that live on the other side of Eastern Parkway, uh, you, you know, the ones that are very strict, the Orthodox ones. Uh, they would um, have their own communities. They would never be flashy. They would never wear name brand clothes, drive flashy cars, have uh, really big elaborate homes. Everybody kind of lived about on the same level. 
you know, everybody in the whole community, they owned a home, you know, but all the homes, you know, everything was about the same. You know, they had their own schools, they had their own stores, they own, own everything. Meaning one person was not hogging all of, you know, the resources uh, to show you don't got nothing on me. You know, whereas in other communities, you have people that will not work together because they have a mentality where, you know, no, I want to have a bigger house than everyone else. No, I want to have the most expensive clothes. No, I want to have the flashiest car. Instead of working together with a group to make sure everyone equally benefits so everyone can live comfortably, you always have a, a handful in a group that are like, no, uh, I want to stand out. I want more recognition because uh, 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 you can't get up on what I have. <laughs> so anyway, I went too far off. <laughs> uh, with this four of uh, wands here. Uh, this person, let me see, clarify the four of wands, please. Oh, shoot. All right. Oh, okay. So somebody might have put a lot of work. They might have put a lot of work, which might not have been wish fulfillment, hmm, into either a union or they might have been doing a whole lot of work and the work could have been some bullshit that they were doing that somebody could have been putting a whole lot of energy and work into trying to recruit other people and get other people together okay to attack whoever is in this whoever this libra is a whole lot of work clarify that four of wands let's clarify that four of wands for me please All that work and planning that they did. This could be gang stalking energy here. It definitely could be gang stalking energy. Yeah. And, and you know, it, like I said, Martin Luther King and many others, you know, gang stalking is a real thing. You know, uh, and, and it was done by people in their own community that just wanted to have one up on everybody else. So instead of doing what was best for the whole entire group, for the whole community, you know, uh, it's okay. I don't have to have the best home. You know, if everyone has a moderate home, we can all live comfortably, you know, by sticking together as a community and a group and not backstabbing each other. But unfortunately, you have those that are the Judas in a community that will trade you in for a few pieces of silver so that they can have a few more pieces of silver than everyone else and that's not what's best for the collective so somebody put a whole lot of work and planning into uh, doing a whole lot of bullshit and getting a whole lot of people together interesting they got a whole lot of people together and now uh they're, they're mentally uh, they're stuck in their head and they don't know um they don't know where to turn Hmm. Let me go further into this. I want to know exactly. I want to know exactly what these people did. Uh, I, I I know it was something to do with the smear can campaign, but I want to know exactly what what did these people spread about this Libra? What kind of information? I mean, what did this group come together and do to this Libra? What did this group come together to do to this Libra? I have a feeling I know what it is, but I want the cards to say. What did they do to this Libra? The page of pentacles reversed. Page of pentacles reversed. They wanted to stop their finances. They wanted to... Mm, okay, so the page of pentacles reverse is someone making money. Ah, it's when, it, you know, it's when someone goes about, it could be a young person or a young minded person, or it could be someone that's young and immature that makes their money and finances in a very low vibrational way. You know, uh, you know, it's not somebody that uh, just works an honest job or runs their own business. You know, it's somebody that does... Uh, little uh cons it's a con person it's a person that might run a whole bunch of little con schemes to make their money I, i'm feeling the energy like perhaps they might have set this libra up 
they might have set this Libra up to try to make it look like to try to make it look like they were doing some type of scheme they were trying to scheme people out of money if this Libra runs a business a legitimate business online they could have been trying to set this Libra up for some type of fraud which would destroy them so it could even be a thing where this Libra um, if they run some type of an online business say this Libra is a tarot card reader and uh, they have something you know where you pay um, you sign up for their you sign up for their uh, program and you pay uh, five dollars uh, from all their subscribers subscribe to something on their channel and maybe two dollars or five dollars come out a month okay and say they go out of that business and turn it off completely you know and start doing something else these people if they had access to private records they could have gone in because you know you can take over someone's computer I've had it done to me on my phone and computer they could have gone in and hacked this person's phone and accounts and turned it back on and continued to withdraw money out of their Patreon's, uh, their subscribers' accounts. So if they were getting money and then they uh, stopped uh, receiving payments from people uh, on their own, you know, because they might have stopped doing something they were doing or something they were selling their phone or computer could have been hacked and they could have went in the system and changed things around their options to continue receiving money from their subscribers to try to set them up for fraud hmm. clarify what else did they do what else did they do to this libra what how did they try to set this libra up protection to remove any protection if, it, if this libra was fighting up against something and had some type of legal protection by trying to get this Libra some type of a fraud charge, oh, I have to, I'm going to have to change the name of this reading. I'm going to have to change the name of this reading. I think there's a Libra out there being set up for fraud. They need to check their Patreon. It, it can be a tarot card reader or it can be any other business that's online. I think some low vibrational people that might have access to other people if not themselves where they can hack your computer might be setting you up for fraud check your patreon to make sure uh, 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 people whose uh, accounts money is supposed to still come out of is still coming out of it and if money is not supposed to be still coming out of their accounts uh, and you see it's coming out uh, somebody could have hacked your computer or phone and real and changed it because they want to maybe maybe the Libra maybe this Libra has lawsuits against other people possibly and right now they have some kind of protection but the only way that they can take them down is by setting them them up for fraud too. clarify what else are they doing oh. but it's going to be illuminated this is getting ready with the moon card reversed this is going to be illuminated very soon. Ooh, this is dirty. Is there anything else this Libra needs to know right now? Is there anything else? King of Cups reversed. This could be... This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or it's water energy, or this could be someone that is very narcissistic. And it's going to be illuminated about it. Who is this uh, king? Who's in this energy of king of cups reverse? Who is it? Who is in this energy of king of cups reverse? Please. Okay. This could possibly be someone that the Libra might have dated before. That might be a little bit bitter. Or it could be a sword sign. It could be a air sign. Clarify who is uh, who's this uh, King of Cups reverse energy? Who is that King of Cups reverse energy, please? Who is that King? Someone that's repeating a cycle. 
could be someone that is actually repeating a cycle right now. Please give me a sign for who that uh, King of Cups reverse energy is. Ten of Cups. This could be someone that you're dating or that could be possibly courting you. This could be someone that is currently trying to court you or date you that possibly even could be working with these people and going into your computer behind your back. And I believe it's a, a, a water sign. This is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio possibly, Libra. Wow. This is a lot. So we have uh, Ten of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. This is somebody you're repeating a cycle with possibly or someone that's coming to your life maybe to try to repeat a cycle with you you could be just be in a talking stage or someone that's close to you could be spending time with you uh, that uh, uh, is trying to repeat a cycle that you may think is your wish fulfillment you may I'm sorry y'all can't even see these cards that y'all you may actually think is your wish fulfillment but in actuality they are a king of cups reverse. This person could be a king of cups reverse, a very manipulative water sign that might be trying to manipulate your emotions. And this is going to be illuminated to you really quick. They're trying to bring down your defenses. They're trying to bring down your defenses and set you up for fraud. And it's someone that's close to you that's trying to get your heart right now and repeat a cycle with you uh, that you might see as wish fulfillment. They're trying to set you up for fraud. Wow. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. No. No, sir. Not my Libras. I don't like this one bit. Please clarify. Uh, are there any more messages? Or what else does Libra need to know? Is there anything else that Libra needs to know? Okay, well, the good thing is they're not going to make any progress, okay? They are not going to make any progress at what they're trying to do. I don't know if you're already aware of this or not, but, 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 but you have to watch your back. You, you have to be careful and watch your back, you know, uh, right now. Get this person away from you, first of all. First of all, get this person away from you. If you have a Patreon, go over and review everything going on with your finances. If you were getting money from uh, 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 your uh, subscribers or anything going on with you, check and make sure everything is turned on that still should be turned on, what accounts uh, money should still be with being withdrawn from, and make sure everything is turned off that should also be, uh, that, because they're trying to set you up for fraud. They're trying to set you up for fraud. Uh, they are not going to make, and they're not going to advance. They're not going to um, be able to uh, get away with this. But still, you have to watch out for it. This person, this this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in your energy uh, is a snake. Please give me confirmation. Uh, is this a water sign trying to set up tower? Yeah. The pyramid is a tower card. Star reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Is this a water sign trying to set up this leaper? Is this a water sign trying to set up this leaper? That's what I got. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to bind you. It's an air sign that's using a water sign. It could possibly be uh, a fire sign in here too, a Leo. This is a whole group. Eight of swords trying to bind you. Okay, any more messages uh, for this Libra before I end this reading and hurry up and post it? Any more messages for this Libra? Any more messages for this Libra? Yeah, they're trying to beat you. They're trying to win. They're not going to make any progress. But look, the five of swords. They're trying to win. All right, give me three more cards of advice for this Libra, please. 
three more dice cards. Yeah, the devil. This is a set. This is the devil card. Okay? Next to the five of swords. They are using, they are hitting below the belt. They are using any tactics that they possibly can to try to beat you. Look, the devil got that whip in his hand. And then uh, if that whip isn't enough, they got a tornado lined up behind them. And the tornado, if that doesn't take you out, they're hoping that the sand is going to blind your eyes. They're going to blind you with the sand. You know, uh, they're really trying to defeat you. That these people really just want to beat you. Wow. They really want to beat you. They want to, you see how you, the, they have the clouds on one side and then the sky is clear on the other side. They really want, they, they really want to beat you and just take away your, you, take away your joy. They want to bring dark skies into your life. Look at that. That's it. They want all this darkness to come and gray up your blue skies so it, it will look like this. This is what they want your life to look like now. This is what they're trying to make your life look like. So it looks like this is a reading and a warning to a Libra. Libra, there is a water sign that might be courting or dating you right now or talking to you uh, that is showing a fake false face. This person is not any type of a star at all whatsoever or perhaps uh, they have some Aquarius in their chart okay they're trying to bring a tower to you they could be hacking into your computer if they come over your house and you know they're trying to get next to you okay it's going to be illuminated very soon they're trying to lower your defenses they're setting you up for fraud okay uh it looks like this could be a pisces cancer or scorpio that is trying to get in and close to you or they possibly sent someone by going possibly through your heart okay with the three of swords okay uh it's someone that you may already know uh, that you're uh, repeating a cycle with, you know, that maybe uh, you could have dated before, maybe from long ago that might be back in your life. Uh, and you might view this person as wish fulfillment or they could be trying to present themselves as wish fulfillment. But they are showing up as a king of cups reverse, a, manipula a manipulative narcissist. And this could be uh, what they're trying to do is bind you up. Uh, the person that could be orchestrating this could possibly be a Leo, uh, or this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or uh, I'm getting Gemini or Aquarius more than anything. So uh, you have air signs uh, coming for you that are were working with some other people in a group, um, and they could also be trying to uh, set you up for fraud. And by setting you up for fraud, that is what will turn your business upside down. Okay? And you got the... Uh, you got a group of people working together to set you up with legal issues. But they're stuck right now. Right now they're stuck. They're in a hangman energy right now. Because, oh, <laughs> yeah, it came out in two decks, yeah. Because, look, you got the Five of Swords here too. But it's reversed. The Five of Swords is reversed here. They didn't beat you. They can't. This could have already happened. It could be happening in the present. Or maybe this is going to happen in the future. Be careful. Be careful. It's Valentine's Day coming up. Be careful of any water sign that's coming around you from your past. Okay? Libra, you know, watch, watch your back. You know, if this is what's happening to you, like I said, check all your accounts. Check your Patreons to make sure every, nothing is turned on that shouldn't be. I am Kuan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot.